Welcome back. In this video we're going to show you how to upload a data feed from your uh, Google Affiliate Network account for your data feed store. It takes just minutes. It's a very, very simple program. First thing you want to do is make sure that, you, of course, you've joined Google Affiliate Network and that you've selected some merchants that you want to uh, use their products in your store. It's pretty simple. Just go to the merchant section and apply for whatever merchants you want. Once you've done so, go to the subscriptions uh, tab and uh, find the data feed tab to the left side and the merchants that have approved you will be shown there. You can set up your data feed settings. Uh, you can move the merchants that you want to include in your store left or right uh, and then just put the information about your uh, FTP uploads uh, Google Affiliate Network actually uploads the files directly to your server. You just need to put in the FTP information there. Uh, you can just follow this information here. Make sure you've set your permissions on your FTP folder for uh, to for outside uploads. Uh, I believe that's 775 for the permissions on CH mode. Uh, or you can upload them manually here. We'll show you how to do that with FTP. Just take the files, upload them to your Google Affiliate Network fold folder. Once you've done so, you can log into your uh, your, your admin panel that'll be shops forward slash admin put in the username and password that you set up when you did your install uh, and then go to the Google button on the front page or in the uploads there's a Google network link and there's two ways you can upload uh, you can upload through your browser if it's a small file say less than 10,000 items or you can upload using FTP as we showed you there was some uh, uh, files uploaded through FTP uh, if you click that button uh, you can process them without having to upload them through your browser the uh, first one we're going to do is go ahead and upload one through our browser just uh, go to the pe browser page and click the select button and find a file a Google file that you want to install into your store and this we just picked one and just press uh, the submit button and those products are now in your data feed store I'll show you that real quick and there you go the products are automatically inserted uh, it also creates a page for you uh, with all the product information individual product page which is of course uh, optimized for search engines Towards the bottom of the page, you also have some suggested items, and you have a cloaked affiliate link. A cloaked link is one that uh, won't interfere with your search engine listings. It takes you directly to the merchant where the consumer can buy the product that they found on your website, and you earn a nice commission from it. Now let's show you how to install one with the uh, FTP. As you saw, we uploaded some folders to F, some to the FTP folder. Uh, click on this image here, FTP, and it will list actually for you all the files that are awaiting installation into your store. Blue means install it in the store. Red means discard it. So let's go ahead and install a product line. Now some of the bigger files, up to 50,000 items, can take a few seconds to upload because it's an awful lot of information. So just uh, hang loose and it will uh, process the file for you, upload it to your database. And there you go, upload was successful. That was a lot of items. You can go back and check for more, add some more if you want to. Let's just see how this looks uh, in your store. Boom, you have uh, soap products now. That was a soap company. And again, you have uh, a product page for each item and a link directly to the store. And if you scroll down, you'll see some recommended products on your product page. Maybe try to get some increased sales. And that literally is all you need to do to upload as many Google Affiliate Network files as you want to uh, to, your, to your website. Uh, keep in mind you can also mix in link share and commission junction and share a sale all in the same database using the different tabs. Uh, so that's it. In our next video we're going to show you how to uh, do a uh, custom uh, template for your store. And we'll see you in the next video.